Hey YouTube, this is Comic Hero 77 back with another comic haul video. This is video number five. Um, this video, um, all these comics were purchased off of eBay, and I got some really great deals uh, off them. Um, these books are either completing or filling in holes that I have and that I have sets of, um, which I'm super stoked about. And also there will be a few key issues in here, which I'm excited about as well. Um, so we're going to start off with Amazing Adventures number 10. Um, what's so great about Amazing Adventures is 1 through 10 is stories of Black Bolt and the Inhumans, uh, essentially the Inhumans, um, and the Black Widow. And... I needed number 10 to complete the set, and I finally have number 10. So now I have 1 through 10 of Amazing Adventures. And uh, I don't know if people know this, but in issue 9 and 10, there's no longer Black Widow stories. It's just the Inhumans. And I'm, like, super happy to get this book. Um, so now I have the full set of, of the Inhumans and, you know, Black Widow stories. It's great. Uh, got this under ten bucks. I think I think seven dollars on eBay. It's about a seven point five or seven zero out of a ten, which I'm really happy about. The dealer said it was a eight zero, a very fine, but I'm a little conservative. Um, so yeah, I think it's about a seven point five or seven zero, but still, you know, seven dollars. I think can't go wrong. Really great book. Got the set now. I'm super happy. Um, another book that's filling in some of the holes that I have I don't have any issues in the 20s of Amazing Spider-Man I mean you can't go wrong with owning Spider-Man comics this is issue number 24 where Spider-Man goes mad he starts seeing hallucinations of Sandman and the Vulture and in the story he sees other villains that he's gone up against um, you, know, you know this is a VG solid um and I got it for $32 on eBay, which I thought was a great price. Um, the only thing really, the more significant flaw of this is between the D in Spider and E in Goes, there's a, you can see a scratch mark. It's very thin, it's small, but there's um, the scratch does go through the cover. You can see straight through, just the cover only. But it's really tiny, and that's really the only thing like major thing wrong with this uh, comic. Um, there's a couple other scratch marks that you really can barely see and they don't go through. But um, this would easily be a, um, you know, as general wear for its age, but this would easily be like a 5.0 out of a 10 um, if it didn't have that that uh, scratch going all the way through. But for $32, um, you know, you know, somebody might even give this a, you know, 4.5 but I think it's a 4.0 and a $32 you can't go wrong with Spider-Man in any grade um, but I thought it was a good price and I'm just really happy to have it it's my first comic you know in the 20s of the Amazing Spider-Man so having 24 is just great yeah um, happy to get this this is a, I think a key issue as well I, I think it is um, he's a great character a very underrated um key book for sure this is black lightning number one first appearance of black lightning and the reason you know another this is a tough book if you look it's an all black cover around right you can see flaws very easily the only thing about this book is you can barely see any flaws this is an easy 8.5 out of a 10 I, it could be even a 9.2 um which is a near mint minus but, uh, you know, I think it's an 8.5, solid. I got it for, I think I also got it for like 5 to $7. I have to check, but I didn't pay no more than 7 bucks for this. Um, really great. And the uh, cover artist is Richard Buckler, who's done every DC, major DC and, and Marvel character. Uh, he's amazing. Um, he's a, responsible for creating Deathlock the Demolisher. Um, yeah. So for like seven bucks or possibly less for a super high grade, I mean, this is a high grade first appearance of Black Lightning. Yeah, 
can't go wrong. I love it. <clears throat> now there is key issue right here. Um, this is my second copy of this. I'm just I'm obsessed with Black Bolt. Um, this is the first full appearance of Black Bolt. He did make an appearance in Fantastic Four number forty five. Um, a cameo. Uh, he showed up in the last panel of the last page in issue forty five. But in Fantastic Four forty six, first full appearance. He's um, uh, also first full cover. And uh, yeah, this is this is a VG copy. Um, I could see someone. I, I, I you know I have books that are have a spine roll and that are are a VG plus. Um, it could be, but I think it is a VG. Got it for ninety one dollars on eBay. Um, believe it or not, that's actually a decent price. Um, a good price because this book is hot. They're gonna make a movie. I heard Vin Diesel might play um, Black Bolt and use his voice. Um, so, yeah, I mean, can't go wrong with the Inhumans. Jack Kirby art. I mean, seriously, it's great. Love it. Um, happy to have this. This is Swamp Thing number six. Um, this is filling in holes of my Swamp Thing. Uh, I think it was two hauls ago or a haul ago I got um, – issue number one and I have issue 10 and issue eight. Now I have six, uh, great Bernie Wrightson, a uh, guy advertised it as a VF minus, which is a 7.5 out of a 10. Um, and yeah, totally could be, I think it's seven L, but I'll take it. I got this under 10, but it's about six bucks. I got this for, uh, and then the surprising part, this is, that was, a great price, but even better is he threw in a free comic. He just threw it in. This is Swamp Thing number 14. This is a 8.0 out of a 10 solid VF. It could be even like a VF plus or yeah, VF plus or maybe even a 9.0, which is a VF um, slash um, near mint. Um, but I'm gonna go with a 80, and this he just threw this in. I mean, it's just great colors, solid copy. It's not a Bernie Wrightson cover, but or I don't know if he even did the interior, but it's whoever. I, mean, I got to do my research, but the artist did such a great job, and it was free. Um, you know, this is easily, a, you know, could be a ten dollar book, um, or or even if even if it was less, it was free. I mean, it's just it's great. Um, this is Police Comics number 18, and I have four videos just dedicated to Plastic Man. He is my favorite comic book hero of all time. Now, number 18, now this book is a, a pour, uh, and not just because of this piece missing here. It's completely missing, but what makes this a pour is um, it's missing pages 29 through um, 36. But it's all intact. It's really um, secure at the staple. Um, the Plastic Man story is not affected, and I don't think the spirit. Um, I don't think the spirit story is affected either. Um, but it's just a great book. I got it on eBay for three dollars. Three dollars, even with pages missing, I'm gonna pick it up every time. Golden Age Plastic Man, my favorite character of all time, for three bucks. You cannot go wrong. Yeah, love it. Um, so I also like some, I have eclectic comic, you know, eclectic, you know, comic book collection. You know, I'm a big fan of, you know, odd stuff. Um, Joe, Joe Kubert um, created the cover. Um, he, um, this is a weird War Tales number 93. This is the first appearance of the Creature Commandos. And the general, who uh, right here, who's in charge of them, um, forgot his name, but he's been appearing on Arrow. And it's been hints that, um, that the Creature Commandos might possibly be on Arrow. But that's not why I got it. 
I've actually known about the Creature Commandos for a, a long time now. And it's a it's a special ops group that insists of a vampire, Frankenstein, um, the werewolf, and a you know a human general uh, leading them. And eventually Medusa joins, and then this robot named GI Robot, which I'd like to get his first appearance. You know, this is a this is a PGX 8.0 graded. Um, it really is an 8.0. It, it might be actually slightly better. Um, you know, they get a lot of heat PGX. It's a hit or miss, but I'm not buying the slab. I'm buying the book. So, and I think it's a, a VF for sure. Um, last but not least, another key issue right here. Avengers number 10, 1981. Uh, Avengers Annual number 10, excuse me, um, 8.5 CGC, first appearance of Rogue. I got this for um, $35 on eBay. I thought it was a good buy. This is always a hot book in any grade. Um, so yeah, I'm super happy to have this. Uh, 8.5s, I'll own it. I mean, I could get a higher grade. I might upgrade, but I'm really happy. I already have this as a raw copy, and it's a fine. But to get a VF Plus, and it's, you know, great condition. It's a good back. Um, actually, there's an X on the back someone wrote on it, but, you know, I don't, I don't mind. It's still a solid book. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to end this uh, haul with the first appearance of Rope. Uh, great character. Um yeah, just great Chris Claremont story. Um, Michael Golden Art. Yeah, it's also the first appearance of Madeline Pryor. Um, but yeah, it's great. Um, so yeah, I'm going to thank you, YouTube. I uh, hope you enjoyed um, Comic Call video number five. Um, thank you, Comic Book fans. And this is Comic Book Hero 77 signing out.